everybody! Today I'm going to be trying to draw Gravity Falls characters in anime. Okay, this was interesting because the Gravity Falls characters, as you can see, are very cartoony and their eyes are just little black dots inside these really big round circles. So I was having trouble knowing how to do them in anime, but it's a, at least I kind of figured out their designs, I think. I'm starting out here with Mabel, which is the girl. I believe Mabel and Dipper are brother and sister, I believe. I was unsure how to go about drawing her. I kind of gave her this pose where she's like doing a salute and I decided I noticed she had like braces on which was interesting. I've only ever watched a couple episodes of the show so drawing them I wasn't sure about all the main characters. A lot of people mentioned um what's his name Bill? Bill Cipher? Bill? It's the guy who looks like a Cold Ranch Dorito. He looks like a Cold Ranch Dorito with a hat. Well, that guy, everyone was saying that he, they wanted me to draw him, but he looked like a little triangle. So I wasn't sure if I could actually draw him as anime. So instead, I decided to draw some more of the humans. And I know people were saying that he had like a human version or something that people draw. And I was so confused by that. I really was unsure. I'm not really into the fan base. And I really don't know much about the show. So I was too confused to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't do it. And here I'm just drawing her eyes. I was... Adding a little bit extra detail to these, I was probably adding too much. I also live stream when I drew Dipper. So whenever I'm going to live stream, I will make sure to post it on Instagram and let you guys know a few minutes or 30 minutes before I'm going to start live streaming. So if you're wanting to get updates on when I'm about to live stream, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Because I don't really post there that often, but I will post about live streams if I remember. I Hopefully I won't forget. So as you see, I gave her her braces. I wasn't sure how to do the braces. I, they didn't give her as many braces that are actually supposed to be on the teeth, I suppose. But I tried. I, she looks kind of dorky. I know she's supposed to be younger. I thought she was supposed to be like 9 or 10. But apparently, someone in my live stream said that she was supposed to be 13, I suppose. So I guess her looking a little older isn't that bad. I thought she was supposed to be much younger than that because the cartoon style makes her look very young. Here I'm just adding tons of detail to her hair. I, I love drawing all the detail in here, so I was just putting lots of that in. And her hair is rather long. I noticed in the show, since their bodies are so little and cartoony, their hair looks very long and drastically long compared to the rest of their body. So trying to draw it and make it look the same size as the cartoon is rather difficult because you see her hair goes really far down in the cartoon and I'm not sure how to do that and convert it to anime. It was the same with the Wendy character. Her hair looked really, really long in the cartoon compared to her body size. And I was so confused. Also, her eyes were just little black dots and didn't have any color. So I was not sure what color to use for that. So I ended up just using brown. I thought her eyes should be brown. I did the same with Dipper. I wasn't sure what the eye colors were supposed to be. So I just kind of went with that. And they are siblings, right? The last name was, um, I think her name's Mabel Pines and Dipper Pines. So I really figured out, I, I'm assuming they're related. And I thought they also had an uncle or grunkle or whatever they called him. I don't know. The Stan guy. I saw a couple episodes, but I never watched enough to know much about it or about the fandom or anything like that. And her shirt collar was confusing me. It was like a pink, but it was also a red. And I was really confused on what the collar was supposed to be. Hopefully that's accurate enough. I also gave her some blushies. I did the same with my I drew Wendy. I thought adding the little blushies made them look cute. Plus they always had little blushies on their face like she does in the cartoon. Her skirt was like a purple and then her shirt was like a red pink. It's like she's very colorful. I also heard she had like a pet pig. Does she have a pet pig? Because people were saying that I should draw the pet pig and I wasn't sure who that was. I need to watch more episodes of these shows. Oh, and we're on to Dipper already. Dipper was what I live streamed. I live streamed drawing him for about two hours. I know two hours is such a long time for one of these drawings. These drawings are normally only take like 40 minutes maybe. But when I'm live streaming, I'm really nervous and I'm not used to people watching me. Plus, I kept looking at the comment box and I was like constantly distracted. So I didn't draw much. That's why this looks really glitchy and I keep stopping is because I was not drawing fast at all. I was drawing very slowly and that live stream was rather long. But I will live stream more drawings soon and hopefully more things. I'm not sure what to draw next. Still thinking about that. There's so many different things I could try drawing and I'm excited for a lot of things. Like I was thinking, there's, man, there's a lot of different things. You guys have to make sure you leave and tell me what you guys think is the best. And whoever gets the most thumbs up and stuff, I'll probably do that one. Because I'm unsure that I have a lot of different ideas of things I want to do and I can't do them all at once. 
He has a very big puffy like vest jacket and I was unsure how to put that in so I just kind of made it look really really puffy and hopefully that still looks like him. I was unsure. His his vest is odd looking and it's confusing. Someone has said he had like some sort of journal and that I should draw him with that but I did not know what it looked like from the picture I was using. The reference I was using is in the bottom right corner and yeah I was unsure what to do for that. Well if the reference is, the reference may be in the bottom left corner. I'm sorry if it's in the wrong corner. I just said the wrong one because I can't see it right now. I decided to put lots of shading on his hair. I used the dark and the lights and I used lots of overlaid collars. <laughs> I had a lot of fun live streaming though. It was really fun to try live streaming with everyone there and try to talk to everyone. Though I had a very bad setup where I had to like turn all the way to the left in order to see the comments. So next time I'll try to set it up where I can see the comments on my tablet while drawing so that I can talk to you guys a lot easier and not have to stop drawing every time I answer comments or, you know, talk to you guys because that was very hard to do both at once. As you see, I, I have his arms crossed. I was unsure of a pose. I was very unsure about a lot of things when drawing these guys. I, I know the cartoon is really funny. I watched quite um maybe like five or so episodes never watched that much of it but I always thought the ones I saw were really funny and I know a lot of people are really attached to the characters and they're really sad when the show ended so I'm guessing it really just ended I mean did it have an ending or did it just quit airing I'm not sure how it worked it probably had an ending if it did that's pretty cool I like it when things have endings oh we're almost done with um Dipper already and then next up is going to be Wendy I'm I, is Wendy related to them I don't think she is but I see her in I saw her in the show once I'm not sure who she is if you guys know who she is please let me know for her pose I decided I was going to like you can see a lot of me sketching the pose here normally I skip the pose sketching because it takes a long time but I thought I could just show it just in case anyone wanted to see how I do it I usually I, it's not really any sort of great roles behind it I just kind of sketch until I'm like oh I guess I'm done now <laughs> So as you see, I'm gonna have her sitting down. I normally don't do any sitting pose. I did a sitting pose in the Little Nightmares drawings, so I thought it sounded fun to do another one. Only Wendy here, she has very reddish hair and that weird hat. That hat is strange. I was confused by her hat. Um, I was drawing her face out here. I didn't sketch any guidelines. I ended up just moving her face around until it looked decent. So, if anything looks off, I'm sorry. I was just hurrying. I drew her at like 3 a.m. I was going, it was right after the live stream. We ended up the live stream at like maybe midnight or 11.30 p.m. And then I ended up drawing her at like 3 a.m. And it, yeah, I was so tired. I was so tired while drawing this. But, you know, it was fun anyway. Her hat is odd looking. Look at that hat. <laughs> it's pretty awesome though. I wish I had a hat like that. Also, for her hair, her hair looks very long and there isn't many, like, strands sticking out. So I figured all her hair should be stuck together rather than having a bunch of sticking out and spiky in different areas. So that's why shading her hair was a little different than I normally do. And it, it was fun to try something new and different. So, And her hair looks so long. Her hair came down really far on her cartoon body, as you can see. So I'm trying to figure out how to move that to anime. Is her hair really that long or does it just look like that on the cartoon? I mean, I don't know how to translate that. So I just did whatever sounded right for me. For her skin, I decided to use like a pale, but then I ended up making it even more pale later on. I used some effects to change it. And I thought to giving her freckles because you can see she has freckles on her cartoon character. But in the cartoon, of course, she only has like large freckles, a few large ones. But in more of an anime style, I added, of course, more freckles and also gave her a more blushy looking face. And for her eyes, I just went with green. I wasn't sure what color to use because her eyes are just black in the cartoon, but I thought green would match because, you know, she has red hair and green eyes usually comes along with red hair. I mean, my eyes aren't green, but they're like a hazel, so it's usually something close to green when you have red hair, I would assume. I mean, I've seen redheads with like blue eyes and brown eyes, so it's it's pretty much whatever, but I've seen lots of redheads with green eyes, so that's what I went with. So for um shading her hair, I used a darker red 
to try and like mix it together. I noticed her hair looks very, very saturated here, so I did tame it down a little after this. But it, it was fun drawing such long hair and trying to shade that without any spikes or like strands sticking out from it because her hair seems all attached together like in her cartoon drawing. And I was rather confused with how to do that and go about it, but what, uh, this is what I got. I, it was difficult. It was hard to do that much hair. She has so much hair. And her hat. Yes, her hat is awesome. It's like, wow. It is an interesting looking hat, to say the least. Um, when I was watching that show, when I last saw it, I remember that we um, on Venturian Tale filmed a video of the shack. It was called like the Mystery Shack or something. And it reminds me like those little um, um, knickknack stores you go into when you're like on vacation somewhere. It really reminds me of those things. Is that what it is? Is it a store? I don't know what it's supposed to be because I never watched much of the show, as you know. But, and I was unsure of who the main characters were. That's why I drew Wendy, because I remember seeing her in the show. So I thought, oh, maybe she's a main character. But she could not be a main character. I'm just, I picked who I thought were main characters. You guys will have to let me know who the actual main characters are. I didn't draw the Stan. I know Stan's like their uncle or something. I drew Dipper and Mabel, though. So, you know, I did wasn't sure who the third one should be. I, I was going to draw the Dorito, but I didn't. I know he's not a Dorito. Don't get mad at me. Oh, and we're all done. Okay, make sure you guys let me know which one of these drawings you think is the best, if any at all. And thank you guys so much for watching.